see there. What's that? Banana. <laughs> Why have you got banana? <laughs> because one banana is equal one tuna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna come. Just she won't. But if you don't <laughs> if you don't let the bananas come on, we're not gonna get any tuna. If we don't get any tuna, it's your fault. <laughs> Come on, we're wasting time. Let's get going. Right, yeah, yeah. Out. Jump on, mate. <laughs> I don't know how to feel now, John. Go on, get on. Stop mucking around, you lot. <laughs> Jesus, oh, you're all right. mucking around. Where's that thing, mate? Head up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, now old, mate. And the stingray's painer, right here, making sure that the <laughs> stingray's all right. And got nothing good. to do with me. All right. We're leaving from the rye boat ramp heading towards Ganamana and Cape Shank. This stretch of coastline has been having some great southern blue fin tuna of late. We're also hoping to get Rick his first southern blue fin tuna in Victoria. I went 20, but I haven't said anything. Okay. Get back in. Yes. Oh, look, they're in front of us. Look at them. See? In there? Hello Larry, are they still there? Yeah. Good. When you're doing this sort of thing, you really got to be careful with divers, etc. in the water. You do not want to be running over anyone. So you've got to have eyes at the back of the boat and also yourself, constantly looking for other boats. We've got a flag on the boat, we've got a flag and float with the float with the divers. So you really got to be careful. Safety first. All the time. Now when they do catch a fish, most of the time, the other boats will come charging in. So you just got to be careful of that because they want to have a good look. They get excited. It is tuna after all in Victoria or Melbourne. So we're going to pick them up again now. Wind's come up a bit as usual in the afternoon. We're going to pick them up, try to sand some fish up and then head home. Right. Motor's off! Go! Always turn your motor off when they're getting on the boat. Always. Well, see them now like uh, 8 metres. See a big bunch of bait fish. I haven't seen any big tuna actions. Yeah. Alright, we'll keep going. Yeah. We've got another couple of hours. Yeah. You try feeding him. We go, we go. We got tuna under the boat. Go, 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 go. Go, 
Put tuna under the boat. Go, 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 go. Back. I'll get that ready and out. Jump back on, I'll put you on them. Hey, Eric. Well, we got this in about 14 metres of water. Um, Charlie saw them on the sounder, so we jumped in. It was actually 70 metres deep or something. So um, they just swam along in a big school and um, I managed to pop one through the back. So, and then uh, they're quite hard to stop actually. I was a bit shocked. So, but we got it in the end, so it's all good. The good old roller gun come through. So quite happy about that. Not much more to say. Now, I just want to talk to you about the new type of gun. It's called a roller gun. Rob Allen now makes them. Now, this tuning here. I shot this with a roller gun, went in here and popped out through here. So it went through solid, you know, they're, they're quite powerful and I'll explain that to you why. This is the roller gun and as you can see here, the roller's un underneath as you pull it along through the top. They're quite a little bit hard, different to load. You've got to use a loader, which you get used to after a while. Just hooks onto that so you can pull it down easier. 
that's all, all right? So what happens is when you, sh when you, get, you power it up, you're getting power from the rubber all the way from the front of the gun all the way to the back notch. So essentially this is a 100 centimetre gun, so that pretty well makes it in my mind a 120. So straight away you've got a gun that's a bit more compact, easy to use and with a power that can certainly stop tuner anyway. So if you're going in open water and uh, not where rocks are and so forth, clear water, these roller guns I think are the best. That's all we use today. So both of us, both Mark and I just use roller guns. So they're definitely powerful weight ratio, the best gun on the market anyway. Better than two rubbers. On the way back into Port Phillip Bay, the guys decided to have a snorkel around Sorrento. They couldn't believe it. They were surrounded by dolphins. 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 Dolph